We have got our first look at the Book of Boba Fett and I love where they're going with this show. Exploring the underworld of Star Wars is definitely going to attract fans. So we start off with the Tatooine Desert dry and vast. The first shot we see is a Bowmark monk, which I talked a little about in my other video about Bib Fortuna. One appears quickly in the background at Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi, so it's cool to see one in the trailer. We're taken to a shot of Jabba's palace and Boba states, I am not a bounty hunter. This is going to be a huge conflict in the book of Boba and what he is going to have to do with just about every mercenary he meets is remind them that he's not a bounty hunter anymore. Throughout the entire show, as we see with the Shadow Collective in the trailer, is Boba will be having to settle a lot of debts. I think it will be similar with Bucky in the Falcon Winter Soldier, where he has to assure everyone that he is no longer the Winter Soldier, as Boba being a bounty hunter. A servant droid, which I think is on Tatooine City, hands Boba his helmet, and as always, he looks sick placing it on his head. Then what I think is a member of the Shadow Collective says, I've heard otherwise which shows just how much Boba is going to have to do. We are taken to a moving shot of Fennec and Boba through Tatooine City, and Tatooine has a whole new vibe after Return of the Jedi. The townspeople are shooting suspicious looks at Boba and Fennec, which seems there may be some rumors that have spread about Boba, maybe him being alive, and he also says, I intend to rule with respect. This show is going to dive deep into probably Boba's thoughts during Return of the Jedi, how he saw Jabba as a ruler all his time serving him. Another beautiful shot of Jabba's palace, and we can hear that Fennec Shand is taking her command as Boba's right-hand woman. She says that you were all once captains under Jabba the Hutt. Then we get our first look at our first confirmation of a live-action Shadow Collective, originally formed by Maul, but I will talk about that more in another video. As I was saying, Boba is going to have a lot of conflict with other mercenaries, especially this group. Boba suggests to the group that this isn't so much going to be a group of smugglers, but of possibly businessmen. A member of the group asks Boba an important question that shows just how much Jabba's group is going to change with Boba in charge. Then we see that there could possibly be some sort of taking over by the group against Boba and Fennec, and which is kind of foreshadows a betrayal, but again, trailers do that to throw fans off. This happened in The Force Awakens, as well as The Mandalorian with Sabine Wren. Obviously, Mandalorians like unfair odds, so of course, Boba slices right through these paid assassins, if you will. We're back at Jabba's palace, and Fennec again takes charge and replies with an excellent point, saying that Jabba would have killed some of these guys for the questions that they're asking, and this again shows just how much Jabba's group is going to change with Boba in charge. It ends with an amazing line that shows the change Boba is going to make. Speak freely. I can't wait for Book of Boba to come out on the 29th, and it is going to be amazing, and I will cover the Shadow Collective in the next video. If you want more Star Wars videos, subscribe if you aren't already, and leave any video suggestions you guys have for me about canon, comics, or anything Star Wars related you guys want. I'm stoked for every show that's coming just in this next year, and I'll see you guys in the next video.